Well, that madness went down. White was leading. I'm not prepared to make a call without seeing the uh, scores light up. Yellow did some real bossy surfing. 20 seconds to go. Score to come in on red. Yellow. Here goes White. Flintoff out in front. Right on 10 seconds. Captain Kirk busts the tail out. Right on. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, in Heat 24, we are on standby. Do not ride waves. The uh, Beach Bite Monitor is about to catch up with a crazy exchange right at the end of that heat. Spectator value plus. The competitors are grinning with the conditions we've got. I'm tipping yellow. Yellow is definitely going to like the scores that are about to be announced. We'll probably move up into second, possibly challenge for first. That was fairly amazing. Yeah, we've got the replay up now as we're waiting for the score to drop in. We can see Yellow just threw everything at his last wave. Well done, Remain. Lula, score about to come through. We'll suggest you've gone from fourth into a qualifying position. There it is. An 877 for Lula. You are in second place. Well done. White first, Yellow second. Blue third, red fourth. A 650 for red was not enough. An 877, awesome. From fourth to second, just like that. A whole lot of commitment shown from uh, Romain Lula, the Frenchman. And deservedly so, moving into second place. Surfers, stand by. Just waiting for the all clear. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'll hand over now to uh, Terry McKenna. And uh, if that continues, Terry, uh, geez, I don't know. I think I'm going to fall out of my chair. I better go for a swim and cool off, mate. That was awesome. Yeah, go have, have yourself a dip. Thank you very much. Of course, uh, Mark Clift, one of West Australia's finest. Spent half his life in Indonesia, that man. And uh, still ripping. Okay, so we're down to, uh, well, the very last heat of the round of 96. This is heat number 24 here at the Sri Lankan Airlines Pro. And uh, mind-blowing performances throughout the day. This has got to be one of the best venues ever, anywhere in the world, right here at Pastor Point. Leonardo Neves, of course, is a Brazilian. He's in the red singlet. They've been faring well here today, the Brazilians. Let's see if he can uh, continue their good form in the white singlet. Aritz Aaron Baru is uh, in the white. Parish Burns from Australia is in yellow. And Dusty Payne is the young Hawaiian in the blue jersey. Okay, so next heat on the agenda, fellas. First warning for these guys. Uh, Mickey Campbell will be taking on Kakoa Bacalso, uh, Jihad Koda, and Austin Ware. Wow, that's a crazy heat. So hope you are enjoying the action, folks, live from past the point. As you can see uh, on the webcast, the wind really clean at the moment super clean in fact here goes white first wave and well just a high speed tumble off the end of that one just kind of stalled it and uh, put the brakes on when he was up on the lip ended up uh, coming unstuck yellow straight into this one parish burn now parish chipping away trying to get himself onto this inside section nice tight top turn sets it up for another big clout through the roof, walloping the second manoeuvre, and we'll look to finish off that one, and good stuff there from the young uh, Goofy Footer from Wollongong in New South Wales, Australia. So, just a stack of people uh, online. Forrest uh, says he just log logged on the way. look insane. Bring on Sonny. Well, he won't be too far away. My friend Sonny Garcia, heat number two of the round of 48. New Zealand online. Matty saying, what's up? Well, Matty, not much, mate. <laughs> We're just cruising here at uh, 
in the uh, at past a point. Check it out as we watch this wave here for the guy in red. Big strong bottom turn for uh, Neves, the Brazilian, under leap on that second one. Incredible vertical attack on that next wave. He is just flying down the line, sets it for a big roundhouse and off the suds. Throws the tail and unfortunately loses control in the froth on the way round. So the boys are uh, getting straight into it for this one. It is heat number 24, the round of 96 here at the Sri Lankan Airlines Pro. Okay. Okay, so we're looking for Drew Courtney and Patera to uh, come on down. So, Drew Courtney, could you come and see um, Steve Robbo, please? And Patero. Who's the main Patero? Could you please come upstairs to the commentary position as we wel back, welcome back, speaking of, uh, Liam McNamara. Been sitting downstairs. <laughs> Is this mind-blowing or what, man? Well, definitely some great surfing. Looks like White kind of caught behind this first section, and he goes down. Okay, so we do have a couple of scores uh, loading into the system. Okay, White has had a couple of uh, small little scores, a 1, 2, 3, and a 0 0.83. Parish Burn, your first wave yellow, a 5.5. .5. Dusty Payne in the blue singlet scored himself a 1.0, and that first wave for red was a 7.0. So he shoots off to an early lead, and they have a habit of doing that, these uh, Brazilians. Who's this, Lim? Dusty Payne, nice little snap off the top, setting things up. Goes goes for his second solid turn. Really good third turn and blasts a fourth one. So a good opening ride there for Dusty Payne, stringing together four good maneuvers. We saw Leonardo Neves with a pretty decent opener, dropping it at a 7.0. Yeah, well, very good stuff there. And... Uh, Dusty Payne, of course, is the young Hawaiian. What, what can you tell us about Dusty, mate? All right, well, we got Leonardo up and riding on this one. And we'll give you some information about Dusty. Nice second turn for Leonardo. Good third one. Blasting a fourth turn and getting some more open face. Little flo foam climb floater. And throwing some tail. Solid control there for Leonardo Neves. Yeah, like a little 180 waft on the inside there, so just freed the fins up and uh, was always in total control. 19 minutes remaining. Nev's got himself a 7-0 on his opening wave. And we will just uh, wait and see what sort of a uh, score he gets from that one. Here comes the young Australian guy, so Parrish Byrne has had a stellar career as a young pro junior uh, competitor in Australia, making his way on the World Qualifying Series. And... Well, that's the sort of form that's got him there. He has a, a habit of walloping the lip. And once again, just four big solid hits there for the young goofy footer. So pretty good ride there for Parrish Byrne. We saw Dusty Payne unleashing some turns and Leonardo Neves. So wait for those scores to drop in. Yeah, so Dusty Payne, where's he, where's, what part of Hawaii is he from? Well, Dusty's from Maui. He's one of the highest rated surfers coming out of Maui right now um, trying to make his mark here on the WQS he's got a lot of talent he's definitely featured in the top 100 and here we go Dusty wasting no time he's got a lot of wall on this inside wave snaps a first turn gouging second turn throwing lots of spray throws it up for a third and Getting a pretty good wave there. Dusty Payne, three good hits, and his first score is going to drop in pretty solid. So Dusty Payne looking good in this heat, along with Leonardo Neves and Parrish Byrne. Yeah, so we are going to heat number four of the next round, folks, which is the round of 48. Make sure you stick around. So we have some insane action coming your way next. Mickey Campbell, Kakaba Kalsa, uh, Jihad Kado, and uh, Austin Ware. Look at that thing. Liam. That was a Ritza Ranbu. He looked like he fell off and somehow recovered and pulls a big floater at the end there. 
Waiting for some scores to drop in. So we're almost 10 minutes into this heat and all the boys getting some pretty good scores on the board. Yeah, that's right. So just uh, judges thumbing away madly beside us and uh, we will wait for those scores to scramble up in the Beach Road computerized scoring system and then we will give you the situation update. I can tell you fellas, time check, 16 minutes left on the clock. And uh, once again, Michael Campbell and the crew, if you haven't checked in, do so. Who's this one, Liam? Leonardo Neves, good opening turn. Throws it up there and kind of puts a little too much weight on that inside rail and digs a rail there. So unfortunately for Leonardo, but he's got two pretty solid scores locking in right now. Okay, so we are down to uh, just under 16 minutes remaining. Once again, all those people out in webcast land, hope you're enjoying the action, folks, live from past a point in the uh, magnificent Maldives, right here on uh, Chaya Island, the uh, Don Valley Resort, a first-class facility. Uh, if you'd like to get here, Atoll Travel and Atoll Adventures via Sri Lankan Airlines is the way to go. Okay, we're pretty close to getting updates. Uh, fellas, stand by, 15 minutes left on the clock. Just one or two more scores to come through, and we will give you the lowdown. Okay, Red, your top two scores, a 7 and a 7-3-3. Three, three. White. Just waiting for one more wave for White's last wave. And Blue. So we will wait for the uh, entire update before we try and guess what's going on out there at the moment. James, Chris... And Natso Gonzalez online. So uh, big ups to you guys. Thanks for uh, the comments. And we, uh, well, stay online basically because we've got four amazing heats coming your way after this one. Okay, Blue, your last wave. Dusty Payne, a 7-1-7. Last white, a 5-5. And just in time for uh, an update. And now it's going to change again. This is Parish Burn. Look at this thing, Liam. Driving. Down the line, hits that lip, throws a little turn in there, and snaps the third turn. And finishing off pretty well. Yeah, so well, Parish Burn, a cheeky little goofy footer from down around Mungon Way, finds himself a bomb and unleashes a barrage of smashing re-entries. Okay, 13 and a half minutes left on the clock. Prior to that, Parrish was sitting in third spot. Uh, first scores indicate that he'll stay there. Current situation, fellas, 13 and a half minutes on the clock. Parrish that last wave, a 6.4. Dusty Payne, Blue, you are the current heat leader. Your worst wave, Blue, is a 7.17. Red, you are in second spot. An 8.02 would give you the lead. So, Leonardo, your top two scores are 7.33 and a 7.0. Uh, Parish Burn, Yellow, you are in third spot. Parish, you're chasing a 7.93 to go to second. And White, Aaron Baru, you are chasing an 8.83. So, that is the situation, competitors. 13 minutes remaining, and Dusty Payne is looking the goods at the moment, Liam McNamara. Yeah, Dusty started off with an 8.17. He backed it up with a 7.17. Dusty Payne is in first place. Leonardo Neves with a 7.0 and a 7.33. You are in second. Parrish Byrne, you are in third. And Aritz Aranbu, you are in fourth. Alrighty, so it looks like uh, we have a bit of noise from the uh, crew.
critics down there in the lounges. Uh, 12 minutes on the clock. Looks like we got some waves coming through here. Liam is going to stroke into this thing. Well, Dusty Payne, he looks like he's a little deep on this one. Let's see if he can get the motor rolling. And I didn't think he was going to make that wave. Good choice to just jump off and let that one roll through. And forcing that snap there. Power against power there. Leonardo Neves. Good third turn. Here we go, Dusty Payne wasting no time. He's got a pretty good wall to work with right here. Blast the first turn right there. And just going a little too hard on that second turn, coming unglued. That wave didn't have much wall to work with on the inside, so he'll paddle back out. Alrighty, so that was a 2.5 for Dusty Payne on that last wave. He can afford to throw that one away, though, folks. He is sitting in first place at the moment. The young uh, Hawaiian surfer from Maui has an 8.17 and a 7.17. He is uh, looking on song at the moment. Leonardo uh, Neves is sitting in second spot. Red, you're chasing an 8.02 to take the lead. Parrish Burn a 7.93, and White needs an 8.83, and here he goes now for Aritz. Aritz is driving down the line. Little set floater there, almost comes unglued. Forcing up that second turn. And yeah, nice third turn there for Aritz. And out the back also Parrish Burn on this one. And he comes unglued, so it looks like Aritz Arambu gets the best of that exchange. Okay, so we are down to uh, just on 9 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. We'll wait for those uh, scores to uh, load on up, folks, and uh, we'll give you the situation update. Once again, uh, hats off to Sri Lankan Airlines, of course, our major sponsor here for this six-star prime World Qualifying Series event. Also, I'd like to acknowledge the grateful support of the uh, Bank of Maldives, Dragu, the official internet and mobile providers. And, of course, Inner Maldives Holidays. You're looking to come to these parts. Google for that one, folks, and you could be sitting here yourself. Liam. Here we go. This is Dusty Payne once again. A little speed turn there. Throws it up for his second one. And just climbs over that lip on the third one. A little cutback. Setting things up for the inside. Another little cutback. And he kicks out in control. Uh, really enjoying himself, and he's in good rhythm with the, uh, you know, with the sets. Every time he gets out the back, well, whilst he's paddling, there's always like seems to be a lull, and he gets himself out there, and he's always in the right spot. It's just great when you have those heats, and everything seems to roll your way. Uh, got Sean online asking what heat are you running up to today, Sean? We're going through to heat number four of the round of 48, mate. Coming your way next, Michael Campbell, Kikoa Bakalsa. Uh, Jihad Coda from Brazil and Austin Ware will be out there as well. So that's just a taste of uh, those fourth round heats. This is where stuff really starts to heat up. Going to be some awesome action. So don't go anywhere, Shauna. We've got a little uh, motion in the ocean out the front. Parish Burn looking and deciding against the taking that one, which is probably a good move. Perfect conditions, though, and... Uh, just had a look at the charts while I was having uh, lunch as well. Got online, Liam, and there's more swell coming, mate. It's looking good. And here we go, Leonardo. Nice little opening turn. Big floater. Nice snap off the top. Bam, throws in a fourth turn. Hooks a fifth turn. And coming on glue there, but five pretty solid turns there for Leonardo Neves. Yeah, so he was just winding up there and over-rotated that last one as we see White here. for Oh, just takes a tumble on that first attempted manoeuvre for a read. So coming down to uh, seven minutes left on the clock.
Alrighty, so we got just, uh, well, just under six and a half minutes remaining, fellas. One if you scores to drop in for red, yellow, and blue. Okay, Dusty Payne, your last wave, a 5.8. Red, your last wave, an 8.1. So, he rockets to the lead for uh, Leonardo Neves. An 8.1 and a 7.33 puts him into first position. Dusty Payne, you're down into second place. Blue, you now need a 7.26 to reclaim the lead. White, Aritz Aranabu, you need a 7.85 to move to second. Not much more to go to first. And Parrish Byrne, son, of course, of legendary uh, Sir Butch Shaper, Phil Byrne, is uh, needing an 8.94. That is the situation, gentlemen, and we have five and a half minutes to go. And here goes Parrish Byrne taking off on an inside wave. He knows he's going to need a big score. He's been surfing, sur kind of holding back a little bit on his turns, and he decided if he's only getting fives and sixes, he's going to have to do something a little more dramatic, trying to do the little Air 360 there, but coming unglued. Yeah, well, so uh, he's only a, he's only a, a little fella, Parrish Burns, so he can afford to take those smaller waves and uh, really overpower them. So, okay, five minutes remaining, fellas. We do have Nick Fasser online saying, yeah, Parrish, come on, matey. Keep it up, bud. You can do it. And, well, he's out wide. He's going to take a look at this thing, Liam. And dropping in on the wide ball. Here goes Parrish once again. Pretty solid first turn there, kind of releasing a little bit and coming unglued on the second one. So kind of out of sync right there, Parrish Byrne. He's got some quality waves in this heat, but unable to capitalize on them. Well, he's been bumped off by a couple of these uh, crumbling lips. We saw, uh, well, in stark contrast, Leonardo Neves copped a lip in the back of the head when he was going up for a re-entry. And like you said, it was like a heavyweight boxer. He just punched his way through it. Just exploded the thing. It just... Uh, Devastated and just uh, kept on down the line. So sometimes, uh, you know, bigger, it's a little advantage that some of these heavyweight uh, competitors have over their smaller competitors. We've got down to four minutes left on the clock. Once again, it is uh, red in the lead at the moment, folks. Looking to ditch a 7.33. Dusty Payne in second in the blue needs a 7.26 to go to first. White is chasing a 7.85. Yellow is needing an 8.94 for Parish Burn. And uh, Wardy Senior online saying is uh, young Burnsy from Wollongong related to Phil. Yes, indeed, that is his son. Sean O saying what heat you're running up to. Heat number four, the next round, mate. Keep all your uh, little comments coming. Chunky online saying who are you going for in the state of origin tonight. It's about to kick off. I'm going for the Blues. It's in Queensland. Should be very interesting. Okay, three minutes left on the clock, fellas. At the moment, white and yellow. Searching for scores. White, a 7.85. Yellow, an 8.94. We have three minutes to go. So in first place is the deepest competitor. And if you look down the line from red, you're going to see second, third, and fourth all lined up. Alrighty, so two and a half to go. Just remember, uh, folks, no wristband equals no food, drink, or entry. If you lose your wristband, you're going to be in trouble. Also, if you're going to uh, to lunch, make sure you cover up. No singlets or tank tops is the call. Look at these uh, sets wrapping around the point. Liam McNamara, talk us through this, mate. Big bomb coming in. Looks like everybody's going to be out of position. Leonardo, actually the big man, the big fella coming from way back, just flying down the line little under the hook snap there for him and dusty pain all righty so we're staying with uh, leonardo but out the back parish burns got a big bomb finally sets it on the rail for a couple of big solid swipes right in the pocket and parish this thing might even stand up throws it up into the lip and that's three good turns for the little fellow in yellow white's got one as well liam yeah well parish had two good opening turns and Almost pulled off the third one, but came unglued at the bottom there. So unfortunately for Parrish, and now out the back all alone is Dusty Payne, and we got a wave coming right at Dusty. He's going to take a look at this one, and I think he likes the looks of this wave, and I have to agree with him. There's some good wall on this wave right here. 
kind of digging a little rail there and decides to kick out. So, Well, he looked down the line, and I must admit that it probably did have a, a bit of froth on it, that one. He would probably like something with a little more green face on it so he can unleash. Okay, one minute remaining, fellas. 60 seconds left on the clock. We are into the mad minute for this last heat. It's heat 24, the round of 96. A uh, little one on the inside for Aaron Abiru. So Aritz starts the old wind-up. Tidy little snaps there on his backhand. Sets it on the inside. Gets a nice little bit of coping to float off. Punches and finishing move coming up. And there it is. Flies nice and high and lands that one sweetly. 40 seconds to go. We needed a good score, Liam. Okay, 30 seconds left on the clock. Whoa, it is going to be super close. Scores are dropping all over the place. And we will just wait for them all to load in before we try and uh, point towards which way we think it's going to head. But Ten seconds. Very close indeed, fellas. Once again, finishing off the round of 96 with another awesome heat. Well done. Counting down in five, four, three, two, and one. Well, how was that? So we will wait for the scores to come on through, and we will see. We've got the break wall boys from Port Macquarie online, and uh, they are uh, doing a couple of shout-outs for Mickey Campbell. Yeah, well, I can't wait to see Mickey out here either. Also, got Carl from Seaside. 